Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Sneaker Talk video. The series where I cover the latest sneaker releases, I cover the latest sneaker news, and of course in the series where we just discuss anything to do with shoes, boots, sneakers, anything footwear really. In today's video I'm going to be covering everything to do with an upcoming collaborative release. What I'm going to be covering today is everything to do with the Supreme New York and Nike collaboration as they are collabing on some Air Max 98 TLs for Supreme's 10th week of their fall winter 2022 collection. Yes guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a sneaker talk video. <laughs> I'd love to do more of them, but it's really hard to... um. Yeah, to cover a lot of these upcoming releases with, uh, yeah, with work going on and whatnot. Um, I'm behind on so many releases that I want to talk about, and I've literally been writing in like a notepad on my computer on ones that I want to cover. Like, I still want to talk about um, Undercover X Human Made. I still want to talk about Kit's Winter 2022 Drop One. Um, maybe even touch on Kanye being dropped by Adidas. Maybe. There's a lot I still want to talk about, but unfortunately there's not enough hours in the day after I work to do all those videos. So I'm just trying to, I'm trying to keep up, trying to keep up with the tide and cover at least something now that's upcoming and current. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be covering an upcoming collaboration between, well, I just mentioned it quite obviously, Supreme New York and Nike, as they are coming together to collaborate on a couple colorways of the Air Max 98 TL, and they are doing it for the 10th week of Supreme's Fall Winter 2022 collection. Now, in today's video, we're going to be covering the release details, uh, the editorial, so a bunch of Supreme skaters slash models rocking the collab, uh, a couple individual photos of it to showcase it off foot and in a lot more detail, and of course, I'll sprinkle my thoughts and opinions throughout. Uh, how we're going to cover all those details is of course by using a Hype Beast article. We'll head on over there now and we'll start covering the release details for this upcoming collab. So here we are guys at the Hype Beast article that we're going to be using today to cover the collaboration. It'll be linked down in that description section below as always for you guys to check out. But we'll quickly cover the release details for this collaboration and then we'll cover the editorial here which is yeah as I mentioned before a couple skaters, a couple models rocking the collab. Now the Supreme X Nike Air Max 98 TL Fall 2022 collaboration or week 10 collab will see a global release via Supreme's online store November 3rd, which if you're looking at the watch, yep, Wednesday 2nd, November 3rd, that checks out. 11 a.m. EDT time in the United States, if I remember correctly, 4 p.m. British Standard Time and 5 p.m. Central European Standard Time for Germany and Italy. Uh, of course, the lovely people of Japan get it on November 5th, 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time. Uh, well, that's quite obvious, 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time in Japan. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's releasing on the Saturday, as it always does for them, in store and online. Now, if you guys have any further questions about the release details here, drop them in that comment section below, and I'll try and help you out the best I can. But now that we've covered all the release details, let's scroll on up have a look at this shoe on foot and see what we're going to be getting this week. Okay, so we can see the model here. We've got quite a huge visible airbag all the way throughout. Very uh, Air Max 98 there. We've got these, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like wave, wavy isn't the right word to use, like heat wave or heat map uh, looking pattern designs along the sides of it here on the toe box as well and potentially on the back. We've got this big bulky Supreme logo with a Nike swoosh on the tongue there. Uh, it looks very, very durable. <laughs> like this leather, this is a very strong looking mesh material. This thing looks like it could be, you could be you could smack it around a little bit and it would still be okay. Like this looks like a pretty tough shoe. Um, of course, not including the air ba uh, airbag at the bottom there that could well yeah MX bag that uh, you could be popped. But the top of it very utilitarian. That looks tough. You know that looks like it would be hard to to cut open. But um, moving forward, we'll look at the other colors. As we can see here, we get our first color, which is the brown, which 
I'm like brown shoes if they're leather, cool. Brown shoes if they're other material. Uh, if the panels are simple, or you know, it's a simplistic design. This is a little bit too crazy with the design uh, for a color like that, to be honest. Okay, we've got a white on white. It looks like potentially the, are these panels 3M? They kind of look like they're lighting up in this photo with the, um, the light shining on them, but that could just be how they look. Um, yeah, this has got lighting uh, with the photography as well, but it doesn't look like it's as lit up. So I don't think they're 3M, but white on white, red branding for the branding on the tongue there. Makes sense, make it pop a little bit, but could have looked nice with white on white branding as well, or maybe like gray, gray branding instead. Um, yeah, it's an all right little model there. We've got the black on black with a little bit of white branding, you know, a little bit of white on the outline of the swoosh here, a little bit of white on the font. There you go there. Yeah, I, I feel like definitely with how they're styling it in this lookbook is going to be how you should style it. Very, very baggy pants that kind of just fold over the top of the shoe. Like, look at that folding all over it. It definitely works for that. I think definitely track suits will work with this. Uh, very Roadman-esque looking outfits with this would look very, uh, very nice. I think, yeah, just a lot of a lot of baggy nylon fits and matching jackets. I could see working quite well with these shoes. It's just not a silhouette that I wear at all though um, when it comes to clothing. So this definitely doesn't match with my aesthetic. We've got Supreme branding kind of all over the place where the R gets taken over with the TL logo there. Um, some wavy, wavy looking designs when it comes to the back of the shoe. And last but not least, if you weren't a fan of some simple colors like black or white, or if maybe you weren't feeling the brown, don't worry, Supreme Nike has got you covered with some hot pink. <laughs> um, do you reckon they're gonna sit? Do you reckon the hot pink ones are gonna sit on Supreme store? I don't reckon. I reckon that even the pink ones are gonna sell out. Um, yeah, okay, so some crazy color options. It looks like we got four of them at the moment. Uh, we've still got some other images of the shoes off foot to have a look at, but uh, yeah, the colors are pretty wild at the moment. I think my favorite looking at it just on foot is the black on black pair, um, but the white one's okay. Maybe some further close-up shots might change my opinions on the brown and pink, but I'm not holding out for it. Let's go check out those images anyway and get a closer look at all these shoes. All in all, I think the shoe actually looks better off foot. <laughs> the shape of it actually looks all right, but yeah, I like looking at this, I'm like, oh yeah, this doesn't look that bad. Why did it look worse on foot? It wasn't the styling because I felt like the very baggy pants actually like worked well with this kind of silhouette of shoe. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. This does look better off foot, I gotta say. Uh, yeah, we can see obviously it in further detail here. These like heat map looking uh, designs along the sides here. I can get around. There's nothing too crazy about it. It's just, yeah, it looks very, very hardcore up, up the top, you know, like very tough. Um, yeah, it's, there's just a lot, a lot of different little panels going on and whatnot. I, 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 maybe I'm kind of basic, but I like my shoes with like the least amount of panels as possible. The, there's just a lot going on here. A lot going on here. Branding here, branding here, wavy panels back here, heat map panels here and here. It's loud. It's loud in design, for sure. Look at that. Bam. Crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, again... I feel like this will work with a lot of people's aesthetics. Maybe a lot of you guys wear like, you know, the whole tracksuit idea. Maybe you really like, you know, full Nike tracksuits or something like that. I could definitely see that working with this type of shoe. But like outside of that, I wouldn't want to be caught dead rocking these with like skinny pants or anything like that. Um, I'm sure they're mad comfortable with all that cushioning on the bottom there. But like, yeah, I definitely want to rock them with the wide pants, the really baggy pants. Um, maybe even some like really baggy denim, like balloon denim. That could be kind of fun. On uh, which color though? Maybe the black? Oh, God, there's so many images of this pink one though. Jesus, they really want to capture all the angles of this one. <laughs> the pink on, is anyone feeling the pink on pink? It's just a little bit too spicy for me. I definitely think, uh, I definitely think a lot of the ladies and their color palettes, it'll definitely suit more. Maybe if your um, your color palette's more like this, uh, lads out there, you could definitely wear it as well. Nothing wrong with wearing the pink shoe, but yeah, it's just I have like two pieces that have pink on them in my whole wardrobe, and they are not this type of pink. So uh, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm striking out on that one. Uh, 
maybe I should say quite thankfully, Supreme and Nike are not going to be releasing in a size uh, 17 or 16 in my case for this uh, collaboration. So I think I can safely not worry about this. Yeah, I think the black on black is just the way to go. It's just a lot more like it, it, it's such a such a loud shoe with all of its different little panels and whatnot. I think just like keeping the most versatile color is the way to go. Black on black, keep it nice and easy. Let the let the design do the talking. We don't need to let the design and color do the talking because it's just that's just too loud. But like, yeah, black on black. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see it. I see it. Um, yeah, well, okay. And there's a shot with all the colors there. Well, we'll quickly review, go back to the white one a little bit there. Uh, yeah, the white one's fine as well. Uh, white and white, it does just because it's white leather with white mesh. It really is reminding me of like some old man shoes. I feel like old, my old man's gonna like pull out uh, on the work, uh, on the weekend, pull out the lawnmower, start mowing the lawns in this type of thing. It just looks like that with the white mesh, the white leather. All it needs is like a little bit of blue and then like New Balance 625 written on the tongue and we're basically there. <laughs> we're at like some like mock New Balance 625s that are, yeah, that are just made by Nike, you know? Like, yeah, damn, I really changed on the white ones there. I Yeah, I definitely think the way to go is just, just the black ones, yeah. Definitely, but uh, yeah, it's definitely not a shoe for me. I do not wear any aesthetics that would match with this shoe. I don't think it's necessarily a horrible shoe. I just think it's for a specific audience. It's just not for me. I'm sure I'm gonna see a bunch of uh, Eshe and Bogan lads in the bus mall rocking this type of uh, sneaker in the next couple of weeks. Maybe one of them will pick this up from a mate, buy it for resale or something like that. I can see it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you have to be like that demographic to rock it, but definitely those styles work with this type of shoe. So yeah, that's all I really got to say about it, guys. It's dropping this week if you're interested in it. I'd love to hear any thoughts that you have on this shoe. Are you going to be picking it up? Are you not going to be picking it up? What's your favorite color? Is it the black? Is it the hot pink? Is it the white? Or are you going with the, the chocolatey brown? Uh, for me, I definitely think it's the black on black, but I'd love to hear all your thoughts and opinions on your favorite color and whatnot down in that comment section below. But there we go, guys. That's everything I really have to say about this collab, and that's everything that really needs to be covered about this collab. So it's all releasing November 3rd for most of the world, or November 5th if you live in Japan. Uh, it's releasing 11 a.m. EDT time for the United States. Uh, it's releasing 4 p.m. British Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central European Standard Time for the UK, uh, for the EU. Um, we covered all the colorways it's releasing. We got brown, hot pink, white, or black. Uh, yeah, and we covered my thoughts and opinions, of course. Uh, which you know, it, I, all in all, it doesn't feel like some like fantastic MX98 TL. It just looks like a. Uh, Pretty regular Air Max 98 with a funky heat wave design with a couple extra panels on, on the upper, but yeah, I, I wasn't expecting amazing things with this collab. I could definitely see, yeah, as I was saying, the black on black one working with some like track suits, that whole look, uh, that whole like, you know, nylon track suit look, but for most people, I feel like it isn't going to work with too much. If you're a big baggy pants guy, maybe I could see it working with a couple more outfits than that, but yeah, any like skinny or fitted type pants, I feel like those shoes with just how chunky and loud they are, they're gonna look a little bit funky. At least from what I'm envisioning. Maybe you can prove me wrong. Definitely tag me in something if you can prove me wrong. But I wanna hear from you guys now that we've covered everything to do with this. How do we feel about it? Do you like any of the colors? Do you like uh, the silhouette itself? Or are you just, is this just not your type of shoe? Let me know if you're gonna be going for this shoe and what color you're keen on down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want to keep covering upcoming Supreme collaborations, releases, everything like that, you just got to give me the three indicators I always ask you guys for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Now, as mentioned in the previous upload, we're trying to aim for a new subscriber milestone this month of 3,485 subscribers. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of November. 
I think with your guys' continuous support, we definitely can. But that's everything I got to say about the Week 10 Supreme Nike Air Max 98 TL collaboration, guys. So until the next Supreme collab, until the next Nike uh, collab, until the next Sneaker Talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.